Hello, everyone. Welcome to your stretch break. I am Caitlin. Thank you so much for joining. Today's class will be about 10 minutes, so a little bit shorter, and we're going to jump right into it. Okay, so feet will be nice and wide apart. You're going to drop your left arm, right arm over the top, pulling back behind your shoulder. Just let your hand fall back. Feel the stretch through your shoulder, through your chest, and maybe even down into your hip and rib. Perfect. We'll switch sides here. Left arm up, dropping back. Good. We'll go side to side a couple more times. One more each way. Good. From here, we're going to cartwheel our hands down to one leg, keeping that leg nice and straight, dropping your head, feel a nice little stretch through your hamstring and calf. If you get dizzy easily, you can just walk over to the other side like this. Otherwise, you can come up and around and then down to the other side. Again, keeping those legs nice and straight, getting that stretch to your hamstring. Then we'll go up and over again. One more time each side. Perfect. Slowly coming up here in the middle, we're going to sit down into a nice deep squat. So feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, sitting down, um, elbows on the inside of your knees. You can put your hands together, chest is up, back is flat, and then you can rock side to side if that feels good for you. Feel a little pinch in the hips, maybe a little stretch to your knees as well. Just relaxing into this position. Working on that mobility. Awesome. Hands on the ground, keeping those legs as straight as you can. Straighten them out. Drop your head. Shake out of it. And then we'll go back in one more time here. Wonderful. We're not going to stand up this time. We're actually just going to walk our hands forward and then come down to a kneeling position. We'll take our right foot, put it up to the side, and put your side of your foot on the ground. Your back toes are curled underneath in the um, left leg. You're going to sit back in that heel, turn your toes up to the side, um, toes back down, and then come forward. So we're going for five reps here, sitting back, coming forward. Feel a nice stretch through your inner thigh or adductor right here. Last one. And perfect. We're going to switch on over to the other side. So bring that right knee in. Left leg comes out. Foot flat on the ground or side of your foot flat on the ground, step back to that heel, toes point up, back down and forward. Good, and five on this side as well. Feel this one, I did weighted lateral lunges this morning. So definitely a nice stretch for me. Good. One more. And perfect. Bring both knees in. You can stay right there. I'm just going to turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing. You're going to round that spine, tuck your chin, going into cat, and then exhale or inhale into cow. Good. Exhaling into cat, rounding the spine, make it exaggerated here. Inhale into And actively pushing through your hands and then tucking those toes under 
that you as a knight after a position and you get movement through the shoulders as well, through the neck, your upper and low back. Uh, two more right here. Wonderful. We'll come to a seated position. We're going to take our right foot, lift it up, internally rotate it, keep it on our left, pushing our hands into the ground, um, pushing our chest towards our legs, but keeping your back straight. Feel a nice seated figure for a stretch right here. Feeling a pull through your hip, glutes, and maybe even into your low back. You want to push in just a little bit more with your hands. I'll make the stretch just a little bit more intense. Go ahead and then we'll switch sides. So left leg up, internally rotate. Put it over your right and push it towards your left. Wonderful, come out and then push in a little bit further. Wonderful. We're going to lie down on our side. So 90 degrees with your legs, 90 degrees with your arms. You're going to exhale and open up. Inhale, come back. So when you open, you're trying to bring both shoulder blades down to the ground. And then inhale, come back and over, hand over hand. Um, you also want to keep your hips stacked one on top of each other. You don't want to be rolling back. Okay. Here we go, five reps here. Open up, keep those hips stacked, shoulder blades on the ground, give a nice little rotation through your upper back. Inhale, back across. Good, exhale, open. Inhale, back across. Exhale, open. Inhale, two more. One more here. Wonderful. Okay, we're going to roll on over to the other side. Again, stacking those hips. 90 degrees with those legs, 90 degrees with your hands. Exhale and open. Inhale back. Five breaths. Wonderful. Rolling all the way onto your back. You can bring your feet about shoulder, uh, about mat width apart. Hands out to the side. We're just going to drop our knees down to the left. Drop our knees down to the right. Getting some movement through your low back here. Try not to let your hips rotate too much. Push that back hip down towards the ground, glue towards the ground to get a little bit deeper stretch through that hip. Good, last one here. And then we are just going to roll on all the way over. Perfect. <laughs> okay. We're going to start in a plank position. So curl those toes under, step back into a plank, lift that right leg, and then bring it underneath into pigeon, walking your way down. If this is pretty intense, you can always stay up here and see it. But if you're able, working your way down with your breath. Each time you exhale, relax into that position. You're holding any tension or any tension around your hip socket or low back. 
Just breathe right there. Let it go. Wonderful, curl those toes under, press back into the plank position. We'll lift our left leg, same thing on the other side. Going down into pigeon. You're working your way down with your breath. Wonderful, press them back up to that plank position, bring your knees down to the ground and then come to a seated position. We're gonna bring our feet together, round down our spine, drop our head towards our feet. Just feel a nice little stretch to your hips or your low back. Relax at your shoulders. Good. We're going to extend our left leg, and then we're going to reach towards that left leg. I like to wrap my hand around the leg just to get a little bit more of a stretch to my side body here. Good. We're going to reverse. So hand on the ground or elbow on the ground, and then reaching back. Feel a nice stretch all the way down through your shoulder, through your Spine through your ribs and into your hip. Good. Then we're going to switch to the other side. So extend that right leg, coming down, feeling the stretch across that side body. And then reverse last one here, reaching back up and over. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining today. Uh, we have more classes tomorrow. We have, well, in a few minutes, I have total body challenge, but then we have um, a cardio circuit tomorrow or another cardio circuit tomorrow morning, which will be a lot of fun. Um, and then we'll see you again next week. We have a holiday class, which will be really fun. It's in person. So if you happen to be in the office on Tuesday, it's going to be from 1230 to 105. Holiday theme, holiday music. Okay, have a great day. Thanks.